Guys, I know you're sitting in your chair for eight, 10 plus hours working from home. Maybe you're doing some gaming. That's just like me. And I've got some of the same issues you do with my butt going numb, just my tailbone getting sore. And it comes from sitting in the chairs that have the thin seat pads. And the problem is that ergonomists really recommend this design. So we're seeing that on some of the most expensive chairs. So even when we invest up to $1,500 or $2,000 on our chair, our butt is going numb. And guess what? It's not you problem. It's a manufacturer's problem, and there is a potential fix. Now, it's not guaranteed to work for everybody, but these seat cushions that they make could potentially be the fix that you're looking for. And what they basically do is they just sit on top of the chair. They've got a, a cutout in the back for your tailbone, and they vary in price. So the first one we're looking at is the $33 model. Now, these prices do vary on Amazon, but there were quite a few cheap ones. This is the uh, the Weow brand. Uh, Weow. Wow. Uh, yeah, Weow. I don't know. So this chair, this seat pad, this seat cushion is gonna wow you. But honestly, this is, for $33, it has pretty good memory foam. Now, from my experience with this, it is a bit of a thinner seat pad. And so when we put it on the chair, one of the things that you're gonna notice with like a $33 seat pad, it's gonna be just, you know, a little bit cheaper, of course. But one of the things that I notice about the cheaper pads like this one is they just tend to be a little bit smaller. So you can tell I'm about six feet tall, depending on how you fit this on the chair. There's a significant amount of room here between where the pad ends and to the back of my knee. So if you're much taller than me, definitely could be a problem for sure. And because it's a little bit cheaper memory foam, I did find once it warms up that it, it's a little bit thin. I do find that I kind of bottom out on it. And really that's kind of what the reviews say on Amazon too, is that just because it's, you know, it's a little bit cheaper, they tend to break down a little bit sooner and they do tend to bottom out a bit more. So that's really what you get with a $33 seat pad. Now the thing is with all of the seat pads that we've seen so far, what's really common about them, they've got this sort of grippy back and this just helps to keep it on the seat so it doesn't slide out. A lot of them will have these removable covers and when you open it up, you'll see one of the things they advertise, it's got multi-layer fabric and this is supposed to somehow keep this cleaner. But I mean, you should be able to pull this off to wash this and it's got this little kind of gimmicky handle on. It. So people use these in more places than just on their chair, train, plane, you know, in the car. Now, when we jump up to the cushion lab, this one's about 72 bucks. Again, the prices can vary. They change quite a bit, but you can see right away as we just look at the differences between these two, there's quite a bit of difference in the contour. So that may or may not be a good thing depending on your liking, but especially in the back of the pad here, you can really see how this is shaped quite a bit different than this one. And this one's really unique pretty much to itself from what I've seen out there. But what, what was nice about this, so if you're say a male that's between 5'10", maybe 6'3", 6'4", and you're 180 plus pounds, these are sort of flared out. And so depending on the size of your legs, your thighs, people did tend to like this a little bit more. It didn't feel so restricting. It kind of hugged a bit. Now for me personally, this is probably my favorite out of the three. Um, the one thing I'll say though is these things that kind of flare up in the back tended to be a little bit uncomfortable and that was really the complaints that we saw from people that tested them here in the office. But you can see it's a bit bigger cushion overall. So depending on your size of chair, it may or may not be a good thing, but it works a little bit better for me personally fitting my legs better. And it has a little bit different foam in there too. So this is a memory foam, but they call it a charcoal infused memory foam. Um, you can't really see it because it's got this second layer in here. But what they say is that the charcoal infused foam has a, it basically it keeps out the stink a little bit better essentially is what they say. But I did notice that it was a little bit better quality too. So I personally at about 175 pounds, don't bottom out on this cushion like I do on the less expensive cushion. So, that, I mean, that's something that, that was one of the bigger complaints, especially for males over 180 pounds. Now, the last cushion is the purple mattress seat pad. And if you're familiar with this brand, you can see it's got a cover too. They're using a gel, which is significantly different than all of the other ones. So you can see, if you've ever seen their commercials with the egg when it hits and how it just hits in and it survives the fall. One cool thing about this pad though, is that you can see there's two different Different sizes. And sizes, yeah. yeah, exactly. And why that is, is because they say both sides have different firmness depending on your liking and preference for the chair. Now this is a $99 item, and so it's quite a bit more expensive than the cheap one. But you can see, size-wise, it's really good. Like on the initial sit with this one, I think it really is super comfortable. Like I think this is probably the most comfortable, just immediate like, 
feedback, but it's gel. And one of the things that happens with the gel is as it warms up, it really starts to kind of condense down. And I, and I personally felt like I was on the bottom of the chair after maybe an hour or so of time. Maybe even, you know, if it's a little bit warmer, I'm sure it would take less time. I like the size on it, but if you like to recline in your chair, the other thing I notice about it is because the structure of the gel isn't quite as, well, it's not quite as much structure as the memory foam, when you lean back in the chair, it sort of slides your butt out and has this really awkward feel to it. So I don't know how to explain it except for it's sort of mushy, I guess, is a good example. Did you say it's mushy? You yeah, it's like a little sliding feeling, yeah. like you're moving a little bit forward on it. Right, so, and you can tell it's got the, it's got the grip on the, the bottom here too, but I'm gonna flip it the other way because this is the more firm side. So I really do like the side that's a little bit more firm for me. And, you know, overall though, I think if we were to look at all three of these cushion options, if we were looking at the cheap, the wow, the middle range, this Cushion Lab product for about 72 bucks, or the purple mattress. I'd say this for me is my favorite, but it's really gonna depend on your own sit needs. And that's the hard thing about these cushions is, you know, this one has worked for a lot of people and can be a good stop gap. But I think over time, if you're a, you're probably like me where you're 180 plus pounds, you know, around that six foot range, it's probably gonna be a little bit too small and you're gonna wanna look to maybe step up into the more expensive ones because you're just gonna get the sheer size and a little bit better support. So hopefully this helps you avoid the numb butt. Don't forget to check out the next video. Thanks for watching.